and the very unpredictable Reggie starting things off. Reggie truly is one of the most versatile competitors here in WWE. A lot of times he moves more like a trapeze artist than he does a superstar. He got a little too close to my wife for comfort that one time, but I can be professional and recognize talent when I see it. Corey, you're a prince among men. And then we got a man who is built like a Greek god, Apollo Crews. A superstar whose incredible ambitions are only outshone by his incredible abilities. Strength, agility, speed. Crews can really do it all in the ring. I agree, Corey, but I might call it ruthless ambition. Cruz is only interested in his own personal glory, and he won't let anything stand in his way. There they go. Such a unique hybrid of power and agility. And a moonsault! What a combo! Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power! I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Corey, any advice for taking on a tough competitor like Apollo Crews? Keep Apollo where you can see him at all times. Between his agility and willingness to fly him. Splash! Apollo is going full tilt here. Can Reggie recover from this adversity? Narrowly avoids the pinfall. That had to have been closer to three than he'd like. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Now that'll do some serious damage. Caught. He's struggling a bit here. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Show some love. Saving us from having to sit through that. Strong suplex. Is it enough? The cover. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Apollo Cruz. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.